Hey guys, welcome back to Aussie Custom Garage. So, the weather's pretty shit here on the Gold Coast here at the moment. Um, as a lot of you guys would know, it's just crazy weather. Um, so today, playing around with the TIG welder. Finally figured out some of the settings issues that I had. Um, that's just... Oh no, God! No, God, please! Like little practice welds that I got done just before I left home to go out for dinner. So, I know I need a little bit more, a bit, little bit more amperage there if using a 2.4 mil tip. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna attempt to make probably another one of these little cubes, obviously one out of mild steel. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this sort of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, also, if you don't want to subscribe, that's cool. But if you could also just watch the video, that would be sick. Just watch the whole thing. All right, guys. Got my little welding coupons all, all cut up, ready to go. So if you guys weren't familiar, I've got a little, little giant 250 TIG. Um, AC, DC TIG. It honestly... For the price of, I think it was about 600 bucks, 700 bucks. Comes with its own little foot pedal. Um, obviously it doesn't come with any of the consumables. It comes with the reg, but it doesn't come with anything else. So, buy your own helmet. I also recommend getting uh, this little Unimig TIG starter kit. Comes with most of the stuff in there. Um, obviously I've brought little bits and pieces. Um, what's that? The stainless, stainless welding wire. Uh, I got my mild stuff down there. Oh, no, it's the alley, alley wire. This is the stainless 2.4. Um, so I'm learning on 2.4 mil filler rods. Just make it easier for me. Um, I don't actually have a collet to fit my TIG torch to fit the 1.6 mil. So... That's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, value for money. Definitely, definitely recommend getting that little machine. Um, like I said, I had the, it's like a $1,800 machine, a Unimig one. Same features, just heat more dials. Um, this one, less dials, but the issue that I was having, which is a silly one, Obviously with AC TIG welding, you need to have your polarities change for your earth and negative. So obviously with AC, you want your positive to be the negative lead, so your earth clamp, and then vice versa for your TIG torch in the in the negative. But when it comes down to doing it on um, DC current, you need to have it switched back. So you need to have your TIG torch on the positive side and your negative on the earth clamp. Should have done that didn't know that that's the reason why my welds have been showing up and looking all rusty and melting the um, tungsten looking like shit so now I know that I can definitely see how people say that the um, aluminium welding or aluminum if you're in America welding is so much harder to do than the mild mild just get your amperage right and go to town it's pretty simple really so yeah we'll um start getting set up i might tack them up off camera and yeah see if we can lay some sort of dimes that don't look too shit all right guys so change of plans decided I'm not going to make a full cube out of this fitment's not the greatest as you can see she's a little bit yeah but my plan is I can make it and turn it into like a tungsten holder so perfect type for that and sort of functional at the same time so crack a plan of that it's fucking sick so I might set up a little time lapse um try and build this out high hopes like expectations so as we do with everything in life, so let's get into it.
All right, guys, so we've got most of the welding done. Don't know whether I really want to touch it. Um, she's quite warm. Not like dimes, well, they're dimes, I guess, but they're not like show quality. It's still quite hot. That's not too bad. Obviously, there's still a little bit of mill scale on it, so it's um, doesn't look fantastic. That's shit. <laughs> but that's obviously um, like one of my first worlds. We'll go with that. So, the good thing about these guys is it, it's practice. So, obviously, I'm going to use it for a purpose. I'm going to use it to hold the tungstens that I've dipped into the metal that need to be cleaned. So it's something that's always going to be sitting there in front of me to go, you need to do a better job next next time. Um, and you've always got to learn somewhere. Got to start somewhere. And, you know, whatever. If it looks like shit, it looks like shit. Obviously, if I was making a fuel tank, that ain't going to work. But, <laughs> you know... Like I said, you've got to start somewhere. But I want to start doing exhaust. Eventually, like I've said in the last couple of vlogs, I want to get flubby up here. I want to redo the whole hot side of the um, turbo setup. It was all MIG welded and looks, pfft, looks like I'd done it with a, a stick welder. I didn't do all of it. Greg done some of it. So Greg fucked up. I'm going to, I'm going to blame Greg. We'll, we'll use Greg. Sorry, Greg. You fucked up, Greg. Um, so yeah, now just gotta weld the top side of it. Should be pretty simple. I'll try to um, try to make that look goodish. Goodish is good enough in most most cases, but hey, like I said, we're having fun. We're learning, and. Most of you guys like to watch the videos. I would really appreciate it if a lot of you guys would comment and subscribe. But like I said initially, if you don't subscribe, I understand if you don't want to pay the membership for um, YouTube, that's fair enough, completely understand. But what I would appreciate, even if you don't want to watch the video, just have it playing in the background. Watch the whole thing. Um, even if you want to put it on repeat or watch multiple other videos of mine um because we do want to get, get this channel up and you know making its own money obviously everything's coming out of my own pocket which fair enough that's why everything's slow you have family guys know what it's like but i think now we're at 304 subscribers and i need to get 4,000 watched views at the moment i think we're looking around about 750 watch hour views so we need to get that that up if we can get that up we can obviously start getting paid by by the ad revenue that you guys obviously get stuck with watching that don't have as a youtube subscription but yeah leave me a comment if you think i'm shit cool if you think it's good which i better not say that because i won't get any any comments if that's the case but yeah little tig I shit on it before, but I uh, actually don't mind it now. Now I know what I'm doing that I was the problem. So, oh well, let's continue on. All right, guys, all finished. Um, figured out this machine, obviously it has a pulse setting. So I've used the pulse setting just along there. If it wants to focus, come on little camera. Oh yeah. So that's just the pulse setting without filler rod. Um, filler rod was only across, across here. Um, first time ever using pulse. So guys that don't know what pulse settings are on a TIG welder, all it is is the amperage splatters. So it goes on and off, on and off every, fuck, what would you call it? Every couple of milliseconds, um, which, don't mind it. I don't like it for trying to use the filler rod with it. I think I would have to turn the amperage right up for that. 
Um, obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about, but in my mind, that makes sense. It could be wrong, could be right. I'll keep playing and figure it out. But, um, yeah, that'll probably do it for this little vlog. Um, next weekend, plan on hopefully trying to get stuck into the boat. Hopefully the weather's not shit. If it is, I've got a gazebo that I'll put up over the top of me. I want to try and get some lights done and pull the interior out next next vlog. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget, guys, Aussie Custom Garage merch. Hit me up, um, send me an email, or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. It's all Aussie Custom Garage. Um, and yeah, we'll um, see you guys in the next one.